Hi, my name is Simon Kaplan. My pronouns are he, him, his. Uh, welcome to the online campus tour of the Eno River Unitarian Universalist Fellowship for the Inquirers class. Um, to my left is the care building uh, where the in-person Inquirers classes happen. Um, on the roof behind me you can see the solar panels which were installed uh, during the COVID um, epidemic. We're very proud of those. Um, they actually allow us to um, to be self-sufficient in terms of energy for, for the campus. So uh, let's get started on the tour. Follow me. So we will now, uh, we're heading into the, uh, the, the fellowship hall um, and uh, we'll start in the kitchen. Come on in. So uh, come on and just pan round and uh, we can see the um, there's, it's very well equipped. It was redone several years ago. Um, there's a, a huge stove with a bunch of burners, fridges, the makings for the coffee. Um, and then behind me is our dishwasher, which runs, uh, it has like a, a two minute cycle, I believe, uh, which is great for when, when we are serving coffee uh, after Sunday service. And there's a lot of cups and they, they get washed in, in just a moment. So uh, we'll now, go into the um, actual uh, fellowship hall itself. Which is uh, currently, as you can see, empty. Uh, but often um, there are meetings in here. Um, Pre-COVID, this was where coffee hour happened after the service on Sundays. Uh, you can see there's a, a big screen. Um, so that we can do electronic stuff. Um, there are, th this room is, is popular with groups who are renting ERAF um, and the, the, the ability to, to show stuff on screen uh, is a definite plus for, for those companies who, or for those entities who, who want, to, um, want to use the space. Um, it's a, yep, it's a nice space there. Uh, they, they used to have the services in here um, way back when, before the, the main building was built. Come on through. There's a couple of restaurants to the left there. Um, oh, I forgot to put my mask on indoors. Hear me, sorry about that. Uh, I'll do that when we go to the next building. <coughs> so this is the um, sort of the central plaza of Iraf. Uh, the main parking lot is, is off to um, my right, I suppose. Um, and with the, the main building, with the, the sanctuary and the offices is to the left. Uh, right now we're going to go down to the memorial garden, which is a, a small but nice space where people can put up, ask to, to have plaques put up um, so that after they die, or sometimes before they die, uh, so that we can remember them. And you'll see that this is in uh, the gift of Dr. and Mrs. William Hollister, um, who were instrumental in the founding of ERA, um, which you'll hear about in the, in the, in the history section of the, of the Inquirer's Day. So here it is, there's, you can see there's, there's a, a lot of, of plaques with people's names. Um, and room for plenty more as, as people um, leave this earthly plane. So now we're going to go into the main building. And here is, uh, this is a, a plaque that shows the names of the uh, original charter members of ERAF. We'll talk a little bit more about that in the, in the ERAF history section. And this is the chapel. Which is a, a nice little space. It overlooks the sanctuary. Um, the great thing about this, it's here for, uh, on Sunday services, this is where people who have, they, if people need to move or they need to make noise, um, they can be in here and they can do exactly that. They can move and make noise and they can't be heard in the sanctuary. Uh, so it's great for, for people, the young kids. 
Um, the, the, obviously, you can, you can see the sanctuary, and there is also a screen um, for uh, the, the projections during the service, and there are speakers so that the sound is piped in, um, but it's not piped out. Um, this room is also available for use as a, um, a meeting room. Um, probably about 20 people can sit in a circle here in, in great comfort, um, and it's a, it's a, a good place for, for meetings. Um, as you, you'll see, there's lots of storage, which is, is the case, more or less, anywhere you go in Iraq. There's a, there is a phenomenal amount of storage space in, in these various buildings. Um, so, let's go through to the sanctuary. This is the sanctuary. It's, uh, it is, without doubt, my favourite room at Eero. It's I mean, a bit beautiful. The ceiling is just spectacular. And often, during a Sunday service, I'll just sit here looking up at the ceiling, you know, with that feeling of awe at just how magnificent this, this space is. Um, it seats 350 people when it's full. Uh, it is, um, it was opened on the, the stroke of midnight uh, at December the 31st, 1999. Um, so it was opened basically to, to celebrate the new, the new millennium. Um, and is a, it's, it's a gorgeous space. Um, the, if, the, the view from the chancel floor, John, if you turn around and, and show the pews. Um, this, is, this is how it looks when, when you're down. Um, addressing the, the congregation for, for whatever reason. Um, it's a, I, I love this space, and it's very unusual for it to be completely empty as it is today. Uh, on the wall behind us, there are uh, some, some banners, some tapestries. Um, these ones were actually made by um, members of ERAF uh, probably seven or eight years ago. Uh, it depicts the river Eno, for which the fellowship is made. Um, it's, a, uh, it's made by a dyeing process called shibori. Um, and the, the banners have changed out. We've, we've got probably six or seven different sets uh, that are used. Um, I, I don't know what the, what the thinking is behind. Sorry, I forgot to put the mask on. Uh, there we go. I've, I don't know the thinking behind when and why the banners have changed, but from time to time you will see, you will see different banners up there. Um, so this is, yep, this is the sanctuary. Um, we're going to go down now to uh, a, a little used exit from the sanctuary. Uh, this um, bell is, is, is chimed at the beginning of the service um, and is made from a, um, a shell, a military shell, uh, this part of it. And the, the symbolism of that being um, it's basically turning swords into plowshares, using the artifacts of war to um, transforming them into... into Artifacts of peace. This is the music room with the heaviest door in campus. Uh, and this is where the, the choir rehearses. Um, it's another a heavy door that needs a little squeak of WD 40, I think, to, uh, to stop that squeaking. Anyway, um, it, it can be used as a meeting room. The choir uh, meets in here, uh, rehearses in here. And as you can see, yet more storage. These filing cabinets are full of sheet music. Um, and yeah, so this is this is a music room. Uh, the main restrooms are here. Um, there's there's they are currently gender specific. Uh, to the left, there is a, uh, a cloakroom. Um, where people, obviously this time of year there's nothing much in it, but on a, on a Sunday in winter it's full of coats and hats. Um, and, yep, that's, that's, that's here. Uh, and now here we are in the, the foyer of the main building. The sanctuary is to my right, where, where we just went in, so we, we've done a little circle. Um, this, there's the welcome new members on the wall so that uh, people can, can get to see um, who, the new, who the new members of the fellowship are. Um, and then over this way we have our gallery, which is updated, uh, changed out every month or so. Um, sometimes it's, it's Iraqians who, whose work is on display. Sometimes it's outside artists who come and uh, put their stuff up uh, for, for the congregation to, to enjoy. Um, and 
I believe there is opportunity for them to buy stuff too. So. Uh, now we're going to go into the offices. Which appear to be empty at the moment, but uh, usually there's, there's uh, people working here. This is the, obviously the front office. Um, John, who's, who's running the, the camera here, that's where he works. Um, and uh, so follow me. Mailboxes are here for um, board members, staff members, committees. They have a mailbox if there's, if there's anything that they, they need to um, you know, see on paper. Um, this is the office of Sean Trimble, the office ad administrator. Ad admin office administrator. Um, Hello, and, yeah. Hi, John. Um, there's Hi Sean. There. Uh, in here is the, the workroom where, um, the, for example, the, um, the, count, the, 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 um, the Sunday plate is counted in here. The, the, uh, the greeters will, will bring the, the, the plate in here and count it. And you can see it's, yeah, it's a workroom. There's, there's yet a million cupboards full of, of uh, storage for, for the kind of things that, that um, um, the congregation needs to, to run efficiently. Um, back in, in there is, a, is a, a huge copier, which prints and copies and um, does, yeah, it's, it's great. Um, so come on through. This is a piece of artwork that the staff did on their retreat when they were um, at the beginning of the era of year this year. It's, uh, it's quite spectacular. Hi, this is our bookkeeper, Shen Yang. I'm doing a campus tour, showing oh, okay. for, for people to, uh, to see online what we are. So. On the right here is, um, this is Reverend Trollinger's office. Uh, on here is a Reverend Brett's office. I wonder if we might uh, knock and... Hi. Hi. Hello. 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 Uh, this is Reverend Brett, for those of you who don't know her. Uh, Dr. Wendy Looker, our music director, and Reverend Lewis, who's the Minister of Lifespan Development and... Uh, Lifespan Faith Development and Pastoral Care. Uh, thank you. Thank you very much. Um, and we're doing the campus tour. Yes, uh, so. we're in the middle of planning worship. Okay, so we. Uh, this is this is Reverend Brett's office with a wonderful view out over the woods. Um, we will let them carry on with their work. Thank you. Thank Bye. you. And this is Alice Alexander, who is our director Hello. of membership development. Um, and you may, if those of you who are taking the inquiries, probably recognise Alice, because she's very involved in in that program. Um, and yes. here's her office, which is, I always describe as being very slightly bigger than a shoebox. Uh, but actually, you kind of made it look rather spacey. So, I'm, I'm fine. Spacious. Yep, yes. yep exactly. Yeah, good. Yeah. good. Thank you for doing this. Okay, Evan. you're welcome. Thank you. This is uh, the office of Reverend Grove, who is a consulting pastoral care minister. Uh, she's not here today, but um, this, is, this is where she hangs out. Mind the steps. So, I can take my mask off now. Um, on our left, that's, this is the back of the care building. Um, you'll see some, some kids in the playground. Um, ERUF does actually uh, host a, um, a preschool that meets in this building. Um, it's not run by ERUF, but they, they rent the space from us. So, back here are the woods that um, they can see from, from the offices here. Um, and also a little bit out, out of the, the windows in the sanctuary. Um, the campus is, I believe, six, just over six acres. Um, amongst the, the features are, uh, there's a, a trail that goes down through them, um, which is, it's, it's very beautiful, it's very peaceful. Um, there's a fire circle there, a fire pit, where um, some groups like to, to meet and, and discuss things, particularly the, the pagans will, will meet around that fire pit. We're coming up on the back parking lot, and you can see that, uh, that rather ugly looking fake tree in the background. That's a, a cell tower that um, the, the cell phone company 
uh, rent that space from ERA and um, they give us a nice wadge of money every year for that. Come on in. So this um, building is basically is classrooms and uh, meeting rooms, largely. Um, this is room 4-5, which is the, the biggest room um, for classes. You can probably fit 40, 50 people in here. Um, there are other rooms as well. Um, they're numbered, actually, from the, the up this way. There's room one, which is a meeting room. Room two is a classroom. Room three is actually my favorite because of all these sofas. Um, it's a, this is a prime spot for um, covenant groups and chalice circles to meet uh, because it's very comfortable. We have a, a library, which is in room six here. There is a, um, an honor system, an honor lending system, whereby you can take a book out and uh, make a note of, you know, that you've done so, who you are. Um, and then, you know, when you're done with it, you can bring it back. Um, there's a, a huge array of books here of, of many, many different topics. Um, and another quite comfortable room with sofas and chairs, which is uh, another popular room for, um, for China circles and covenant groups. This is room seven, which is the youth hangout. Um, and they, they, have the, they have a lot of, the, the, the middle school, high school, uh, have the group meetings and their classes in here. Um, and you can see that the, there's, all, there's more sofas, they're not, perhaps not quite as comfortable as the ones that we saw in room three, but uh, this, is, this is where a lot of the youth stuff happens. Lots more storage. To our right here now, this is a Reverend Lewis's office, um, being uh, the head of, of um, Lifespan Faith Development, it makes sense of him to be in the, in the building where the, uh, where, where the classrooms are. He's, we saw him in the meeting with Reverend Brett, so he's not in his office right, right now, but that, that's where it is. Uh, this, we are moving into uh, the kitchen in the care building. It's not quite as spectacular as the, as the one we saw in the, um, in the Fellowship Hall, but it's fully functional. It has a stove and a fridge and sinks and... and uh, dishwasher and so on and so forth um, and through the kitchen we come into the commons room which is uh, where the um, inquiries class happens each week or almost every week um, and this point we can go out again uh, into the onto the forecourt And here we are, we have come full circle. So, thank you very much.